Tuesday um, I'm on my way to lectures. I've got lectures 9 till 5 and I think it's evidence based practice all day. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really fun day and it's not going to be a little bit long um, like the research one. So let's see what today brings. I've got a new student at the university. Hey Mr. Doc. Enjoying the course so far? Great. Today is Thursday, I'm a little bit late of vlogging, I haven't had a chance to do any vlogs this week, I'm really sorry, so I'm going to just give you the lowdown of what's happened so far, just briefly. I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's probably a little bit boring just watching someone talk, so let's get to it. So as you know, I was back at uni on Tuesday and we had a day of research again. Um, I just, I can't get on with it, I just, I'm really sorry and I feel guilty for saying this. But sitting and listening to someone talk about research bores me to tears and I just want to sleep. And I feel bad because it's not the lecturer's fault, it's not the university's fault. We have to be taught this, we have to do this as nurses. It's just not something that stimulates my brain. I'm a hands-on person, I don't like to just sit and listen. I'd rather be doing it than nothing. But saying that, pushing that aside, the lectures the lectures we had, we had four hours of research and they were really informative. So we went through the step-by-step -step tools on how to research effectively and work out whether um, an evidence-based practice article is actually a genuine, really good article or if it's a bit meh, choose something else. That was really good um, to actually go through that. So it's going to be really good for our post presentation. We know what we're going to do now. But Tuesday was just a really sleepy day for me. I wanted to go home and I wanted to sleep. I just, uh, yeah, that's all I can say about Tuesday. I'm really sorry. Well, actually in the morning we had nursing and care. So we were talking all about um, the way that we care for patients holistically, spiritually, um, all of that. So that was a really interesting lecture. I love doing that sort of thing. And it's just a shame that the re I don't enjoy research, but we can't love everything about nursing. There are gonna be things that you come across that you don't enjoy. So it's not for everybody, there's no harm in that and we shouldn't feel guilty but yeah I do feel guilty because I think I should love everything but I don't. So yeah, you'll find out if you haven't done your research part whether you enjoy it or not because everyone's unique, everyone's individual and some students absolutely love the research, they really found them interesting. And then Wednesday I had the day off so I chilled for the morning. My partner was off so we spent the day together. I had to go back to the hairdressers and have my hair corrected and toned again, which I've had done. So it does sit nicer now. It blends in a lot better than it did before. So I'm really happy with it now. Um, getting used to the colour. I'm happy with the colour overall. It blends in nicely now, so I'm chuffed with that. And then today. So today we had a day of lectures. So our first lecture of the day was we had two newly qualified nurses come in and speak to us all about general practice nursing which you all know I love general practice nursing I was so chuffed that they were coming in to promote general practice nursing it was lovely to see and I was just chuffed I just sat there in amazement because I just love it and I knew I understood where they were coming from and the things they were saying about patients and the interaction that you get and oh, it's just amazing it just reminded me how much I love general practicing so and then we had a break and then we come back and we had public health with Lee who's fantastic he's so good he's so knowledgeable he's interactive with us all he keeps us all awake he puts on a quiz to get us more interactive get our brains working a little bit keep us awake he's just fabulous he's a really good lecturer but that was our last session with him for the rest of my career as a nurse well not ever because we'll see him around in the university which is quite nice so then after Lee's session Lee did all about public health um, detriments to health all of that it was fantastic after that we had our two other lecturers who are also fantastic and they're brilliant they get us really involved they do this acting scenario so they act things out for us and she's a fantastic actress she's so good she's missed her calling in life she should have gone into acting um but that was all about health promotion so as nurses we should be doing health promotion every single day all day every day as a nurse and it's part of the nmc code that we should be involved in health promotion in our career and our profession something that really good come from this session 
So we were given a scenario. So the lecturer was a patient. The first scenario was based around sexual health. It was a patient that's just had a, a chlamydia diagnosis. He's a male patient. He goes off and he sleeps with a lot of women and he doesn't know who he's got it from. So someone had to sort of volunteer to talk him through and give him health promotion surrounding this topic. So I sat there and I was like, this is my topic. I love sexual health, I can do this. And I thought, no, no, I can't do this. Me and public speaking do not get on. I get very anxious and it, it genuinely, I have fears. And I start shaking, I have heart palpitations, I go bright red, I start sweating. I, I really have a tough time with public speaking. Even just putting my hand up and speaking out in class, I just, oh, it really, it gets to me. So I do, it's something I've always built on and I always push myself with. I always think, do you know what? I need to do this. So I'm very aware of it, it's something I'm overcoming, something that my aim and goal by the time I qualify is to successfully stand up without any of those anxieties and issues. Okay, nerves is fine, good nerves is fine, but the amount of anxiety it needs to be gone and I need to stand up, confidently speak as a good public speaker by the end of my nursing. That's one of my goals. So today, I put my hand up. I was the first person to volunteer and I was, and then I sort of doubted it, so I put my hand down really quickly and then the lecturer sort of caught me and was like, oh yeah, come on then, so you can speak, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, oh, I've done it now. I'm gonna have to go through with it. So I was there like, come on then. And then just went through the whole health promotion spiel. But I did it despite shaking afterwards. I didn't realize I was shaking, but I was there like <laughs> afterwards, like, oh, what have I just done? This was horrendous. I went bright red, I was sweating, I, was, I could feel my heart beat. It was scary, but I did it, I got through it. Nothing bad happened to me from it. Um, and it, I think I did okay. I, I could have done better, but I did okay. And I actually did it, so that's a really good start. So I'm really proud of that. I'm proud that I've achieved something today that's been really good. And let's just hope it continues. Tomorrow, we're back on the research, we're back on our poster topic. I'm not too sure what we're gonna speak about tomorrow. I'm gonna to guess they're gonna move on to the assignment part of the research, because we haven't done that part of it, so I think it's gonna be the assignment part, so hopefully that'll be a good lesson tomorrow. I'm only in nine till one, I think, tomorrow, so it's a short day, so I've got a long weekend. I've got Saturday to Monday off. So that's it, that's it for now. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, I'll tell you all about my day tomorrow. And just one last thing to end on, if you've watched my previous vlogs, I spoke about gardening. So I've started gardening and I tend to kill plants. And lately they've all been growing. They've all been growing. They've all been blooming. Something else that's happened is I've revived a plant from death. How does that even happen? <laughs> so I had this aloe vera plant. I don't know if it got overwatered or whatever, whatever it did to it, I killed it. It was green when I got it. It was brown within days. But it suddenly it started going green. I've managed to revive it. I've left it to itself. I haven't watered it. I haven't touched it. I've put it on the window ledge in the sunshine. And it's reviving. It's going green again. Look. Oh, you can see that. But look, here's where the, um, the little brown bits were. You can see at the ends they're brown still. But look how green it's going. These were all dark brown. So yeah. <laughs> I revived a plant. Plants like to come back from the dead. Also, I've got a sunflower outside. I put a sunflower seed in a pot just for lols. I'll show you because you're gonna have to see this now that I've started speaking about it. And it's growing, <laughs> it's growing, look at him. I don't know if you can see that, here he is. I've put him in with this plant because I thought he can grow up it and then he'll be tall. He'll be a tall plant like the tree. So he's just miraculously, miraculously, I need to learn to speak. So he's just miraculously grown. It's fantastic. So now I'm gonna go and have some dinner. I'm gonna eat, chill out, watch some Nashville. Anyone that watches Nashville, I'm on season five. Why, why Nashville? Why have you done this to me? Why have you created me into a, an emotional wreck? Why have you done this? Anyone, I'm not gonna spoil it for people that doesn't watch Nashville, that's going to watch Nashville, but a, a character is dead. I'm not happy about this. It's emotional, it's terrible, I'm traumatised. But I'm hoping, I've got a whole season left to go and then I'm done. Hoping it's gonna get nicer. I'm wishing, 
praying for some positivity to end the season with. So that's it. That's for now. That's it from me for now. I shall see you all tomorrow. Can anyone guess what this is? come to an end I finished uni for the week I've got three days off amazing and the weather has just turned beautiful after a couple of days of storms the weather's absolutely beautiful so I'm sat in my garden I'm just going through some books that I found at uni from a breastfeeding leaflet so today I've had a great day the lectures that we had today were all about dementia so it was all relating back to our assignment that we've got to write around Jeremy and he's got dementia and I think it's coming from a health promotion point of view, so we've got to think of Jeremy holistically as well, not just focusing on his dementia as such, but the issues around that, I think. They haven't really said much about the assignment yet, but we've had our dementia um, case study today, and it's just lovely, it was really nice, really informative session, and I've learned, I've actually learned quite a bit, even though I've worked in care homes for the elderly, and that involved dementia patients. I've actually learned quite a bit about dementia and more to the reasons why certain behaviours might be displayed with dementia patients and how to manage that and how to work that out. So that's really interesting. It's given me a really good insight and something that I can use next time when I'm out on placement. So that's fabulous. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go and read my books that I have got from the library. I'm so glad I found some books. There's a couple of journals, there's three journals and there's two evidence-based practice books that I found on breastfeeding so I've done well today. So I'm back on it, I'm back on the rationale, I'm going to finish the rationale definitely by this weekend, 100%. I've only got 500 words left, five or 400 words left and then I'm done and then that's one module complete, out the way. I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah, that's my little spot, my little sun spot next to Vera <laughs> and um, I'll see you all next week. I've done it! Thousand and one thousand and fourteen words. I've done my rationale. I've got it. I've had a breakthrough. <laughs>